Hey, good morning. It's Christine Horn. You are watching Actors Daily Bread. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful day out here in Burbank, California. Just left audition number one of the day. And something was on my mind and I wanted to share with you. Uh, this is episode 190. So if you have never watched an Actors Daily Bread, I want to welcome you. Put a one in the comments if it's your first time so I can welcome you later. If you're an OG member, an OG watcher, put OG in the comments. Uh, so all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up replay watchers? Love you guys. So I'm taking the scenic route to my car so I can give you this word. So, you know, thinking about auditioning and how so many times we are, you know, an audition comes in and instead of being immediately excited, there's excitement, but then sometimes there's anxiety, right? Nerves, right? Am I good enough? Am I going to memorize all these lines? Am I going to create the character? Am I going to wow the, the, the casting directors? Am I going to book the room, right? Stuff I always talk about. But I was thinking as I was driving to this audition this morning, I was thinking about how auditions like when you do this role, of course we want to get it, right? What's up, Roxanne? What's up, Jakir? I know you are OG, Jakir. I was thinking about, and Roxanne, you, we talked about this before, or you posted about it, how when you have an audition, that could be the only time that you ever get to play this role. And I took it a step further as I was driving this morning and in my meditation as I'm driving in traffic, and I was thinking like this audition could be my one performance of a lifetime because only one person can get this part right but it's imagine if you start to really think about your auditions and how will you leave a mark let me turn around because it's bright over there how will you leave a mark not only in that office but on yourself and on, on your career if you go down as having this one performance of a lifetime, if this is the only time you really get to try on this role, if this is true, then make it something that is remarkable. Make it something, oh, the lights, let me go back this way. My light is better. Find your light. We have to make it something that is remarkable, that is memorable, that leaves a stain, that leaves a stain in the brain of the people who got to see you and experience that. So instead of thinking, man, I had five auditions this week or this month or this year, and I didn't book none of them. How about we rephrase that? We change the paradigm to be, I got to play six amazing characters. I got to put my stank, my vibe, my energy, my, my thought process, my, I got to leave a mark on these characters like no one else could possibly do. And that is true because there's only one you right you're perfectly made you shut up you gave it your all hopefully right if you're doing your work what's up Orlando I see you and that just like sped my spirit this morning like this could be this is a role of a lifetime a performance of a lifetime so it's not about if I get it or not like the odds that's just how it goes but it is about that moment you know and last night I'm gonna be sharing some tips with you because I'm actually in um, taking a workshop with the casting director here, um, Tiffany Little Canfield with uh, Bernard Telsey Casting. Yes, I am not above taking workshops. <laughs> when there's an office that does not know me and I've been like, they, they should, I need to do what I need to do to make sure they get to know me. And so sometimes that may mean that you invest money, coins, dollars, into a workshop so that people can meet you then i can follow up and do what i do right so i'm going to share a bunch of gems because i we had an open q a yesterday and i'm not you don't want to be in a class with me because while y'all quiet and afraid to raise your hand and ask questions honey i got a notebook full because i know i need to bring all these answers to my booking magnets to my hollywood bound actors so i have a lot to share but one thing she said yesterday Oh, I don't want to misquote her. I remember the last part of it. What was, what was the first part of it? I don't want to mess up the quote. I have it written down at home. 
I'm going to do a whole week of just gems I got from her. But I do not want to misquote her. Um, but anywho, Roxanne says she loves this mindset. Yes, right? If you're just joining, welcome again. This is episode 190. Um, and I want to say this. Listen, if you're, I know you're watching on Facebook, but some of you are not always on Facebook. If you are not subscribed to me on YouTube, I would greatly appreciate a subscription. Come on over to YouTube and subscribe. Someone put a comment on one of my videos today. She was like, I'm surprised. I don't get why you don't have more subscribers. And I was like, maybe I need to push it more. But also, you know, telling people and reminding you that I do have a YouTube page is great. But I'm getting ready. I need to find, I'm not going to go back home because it doesn't make sense to drive home just to come back out for my next audition in a couple hours. So I'm going to find somewhere to be so I can change and transform. But how exciting is that, that you are blessed to do something, whether or not you're doing it full time or not. I ain't talking about just because you're not, you have a job or two jobs. The fact that you call yourself an actor, the fact that you get to audition at all, whether it's for a non-paid project or a network television show, the fact that you get to do that is an honor. The fact that you have this gift is a gift. It's your job to show it. And if you start thinking about what you share with the world and that each opportunity, that's, you know, I had a video a few weeks ago about getting it done versus getting it done well. If you haven't seen that, my phone is trying to be shady. Come on, Samsung. If you didn't watch that, watch that. So instead of just trying to get an audition done, let me just hurry it up. Oh, it's not that great. Oh, my tech was bad. Oh, my editing was bad. Or I have an audition I didn't really study. If you start thinking that this is could be the one time, the one and only time you get to play this role. So you better put your stank on it and let the world know who you are. Let the world know who you are. Have an amazing day. I'll see y'all later.